Hey guys, so today I have my June wrap up and it actually was a pretty successful reading month so I'm gonna get right into it and I'm trying not to make this video too long. I had already filmed this video but it ended up being 25 minutes long and I was so frustrated with it that I just deleted it and decided to start again. So let's do a more concise version of my June wrap up. Starting off the month, I read Geekerella by Ashley Poston and I do have a full spoiler free review for this so I will keep it really nice and short and sweet here. This is, as you can probably tell by the title, a Cinderella retelling and I just thought it was so adorable. I loved our main character, our Cinderella character, and how she was obsessed with this fandom of Starfield. I feel like it was so relatable for so much of us who love some fandoms and who get involved in blogs and it's just there's such a community around a special fandom so I really loved that I thought we all could super relate to that story it was just such a sweet cute little thing I loved it four stars to that one next I read Furyborn by Claire Legrand and I actually went out and bought this which is something I don't normally do so I'm really glad that I loved it I give this book four stars I'm sure you've heard a little bit about it but it's kind of best to go into this book without knowing too much which is how I went into this book but it is a young adult fantasy novel I think it's young adult but I did have some questions on if it was young adult or if it was new adult Either way, it's a younger-ish adult fantasy novel following two storylines. We have alternating chapters, so every other chapter is one of these different character perspectives. It's a story of magic and adventure, and I just really, really loved it. I definitely loved Riel's character more. She was the older of the characters that it would flash back to, but I really loved her character. There was a tournament style part of her story that I just am always drawn to, like magical tournaments, Goblet of Fire. I'm just, that's all I really want when I read a book, and this had that. So very fun, lots of action, and I will for sure be rereading this again when the next book comes out because it was just so enjoyable. Definitely pick this up if you are thinking about wanting a good fantasy read for the summer. After that, I finished the audiobook for Renegades by Marissa Meyer, and I'd started listening to this audiobook a couple months ago, but then my loan expired and it took me a month to get the loan again. So I finished up reading it or listening to it, I should say, this month, but I wasn't the biggest fan of it by the time I finally got around to listening to it again. A lot of my interest was just gone. I didn't really care too much for the story anymore or the big twist at the end. When the second book to the series does come out, I don't know if I'll read it right away. I may just wait to see what other people think of it because I just don't know if I care too much about the story and it wasn't necessarily that the writing was bad or the characters were written poorly, it just wasn't a storyline that I was super interested in. Moving on from that, I read The Grey Bastards by Jonathan French and I have a full spoiler free review for this that I did with my husband so I won't talk too much about it here but we both really loved this book. I give it four and a half stars. It's a great high fantasy story with fantastic characters. We have orcs, half orcs, magicians, elves, and then some mysterious sludge man, which I still don't even know what type of creature he is, but there's a lot of really great elements to this story and a lot of political intrigues. If you love just seeing the twisting and turnings of empires, so this was really fantastic. It kept me hooked on the story the entire time. I was on the edge of my seat. After every chapter, you just wanted to keep reading. It was so well paced, which I love in a fantasy story, especially high fantasy, because I feel like sometimes you can get too bogged down with details, but this one really kept the pace moving and kept you interested in. And I honestly almost cried at the end about something that happened, and I can't talk about it here because spoilers, but Oh my goodness, I was feeling so many things for all these characters involved, so definitely check this one out. Next, I read my disappointing read of June, and that was Caraval, and I listened to this on audiobook. Honestly, I give it two stars, but it may be even less than that, so this has mixed reviews, and I knew that going into it, but it just sounded kind of wonderful to me because it does sound like a good book. It's about this magical circus, and this girl kind of gets pulled into it, and it's all a game. And I started off really liking it, and I had a lot of sense of being in Wonderland, and I loved that. I thought it was so magical and just kind of quirky and intriguing. But once we were actually in Caraval, I felt like the story fell flat. I felt like the world could have been developed a lot more. I mean, there had been so much talk about how wonderful and crazy Caraval was, but I didn't get that sense when we were actually in Caraval that it was this magical place. And I feel like we didn't even really get to glimpse that much of it. Also, the main character ended up annoying me, like, <laughs> insanely. And the ending just 
completely kind of ruined the whole book for me. I was just so fed up with it when I got to the ending. So before I had read Caraval, I really wanted to read it because I'd heard Legendary, which is the second book, is so good. But now, honestly, after reading Caraval, I don't know if I have any interest in reading Legendary because when I finished Caraval, I was just so put off by it. So if you really, really loved Legendary, you can try to convince me to read it down below because I'm still on the fence if I want to give it a shot. But I just didn't like the first book that much. Almost done, I read Little Fires Everywhere, or as Nathan described it when he tried to describe my TBR, Little Fireflies Everywhere. There were no fireflies in this book. I loved seeing this perfect little town and this perfect family kind of crumble from within and just see how deluded everyone really was about how perfect and regimented their lives were. And I just thought it was really fascinating. And also the moral dilemma that's brought up in this book still has me wondering like what is the right thing I still don't really know but I loved seeing both sides of the argument and I know this sounds so vague if you haven't read this so I do apologize but I loved that this book kept me thinking and just kept me wondering like what would be the right thing to do in the situation so a very interesting book if you love dramas would highly encourage you to read this one and the final book that I read in the month of June actually is my favorite book of 2018 and I'm so happy that I finally read it but that's The Secret Keeper by Kate Morden. This is a historical fiction novel it takes place in England and we're kind of uncovering the story of this woman's life. Her eldest daughter really wants to know what her mother's life was like before she became her mother because she's never talked about her past before. Her mother lived during World War II and it wasn't uncommon for people to keep that part of their lives a secret from family members and such and so her elder daughter is just trying to unravel this mystery of the woman's life and it is so fascinating I loved 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 this story like there wasn't a single part of this book that felt slow to me the writing was amazing it was a book that when I first started reading it by the first paragraph I was hooked and I knew that I was going to love the story and even by the end of the chapter I knew it was going to be one of my favorite books just how that first chapter ended there was no going back. I was so invested and so into the story. The characters were written really well and there were so, so many twists and turns. I was constantly learning more and more until I didn't even think it was possible to be surprised again and I was surprised again. So this book really had it all. I absolutely loved it. If you're looking for a really great historical fiction to read this summer, definitely read The Secret Keeper and I'm definitely going to read some more Kate Morden. So that wraps up my June wrap up, but I did want to just throw in a little thing here. I think I did in June two vlogs and I'm really liking doing those and I think I want to have a goal for myself to maybe do two a month or so. So if that's something you'd be interested in seeing, let me know. Sorry, my camera just stopped recording. So if it shifted a little bit, because I had to delete some things. But anyways, I really have been enjoying vlogging and I've been thinking, because I do usually bake something or cook something every time I do a vlog, that I would kind of theme it and try to cook slash bake my way through the unofficial Harry Potter cookbook. So if that's something you'd be interested in seeing, let me know because I just always love baking something and I've made a couple things from this cookbook and they've been really wonderful. So I definitely wanna bake from it more and I feel like doing it in vlogs would be the perfect way for me to get that done and also show you guys some really yummy recipes that are Harry Potter related. So anyways, I'm going to end my thoughts here, but thank you so much for watching and happy reading.